looking for something chasing the sun all those days trying to find a place a place that you'll make them just be alone I'm Jay Gabriel. welcome back to my channel or just plain welcome if you're new. If this is your first time here on my channel then definitely make sure you go and check out my other videos. I've got lots of wig reviews, lots of makeup videos so if you're into that then you'll definitely like this channel. Today I'm doing a two for one so I'm doing a wig review on this gorgeous unit that was provided to me by Friday Night Hair. The wig that I'm wearing is GLS 43 and I'm rocking it in the colour 1B and I'm also going to be showing you how I got today's makeup look. So this was inspired by a picture that I saw on Instagram and I just wanted to to have a go at recreating it and it actually went quite well so if you're interested to see how I got this look what I think about this hair then definitely keep on watching so here's just how she looks in the packet this wig comes with two combs in the front one comb in the back and adjustable strap so it's a very standard cap construction it's definitely big head friendly and here is how that hairline looks so it is a little bit pre-tweezed as we'll see in a bit but what you'll see is it doesn't really come with a lot of parting space it's probably got about one to two inches at most and here's the hairline up close so as you can see for something that was just pulled out of the packet it does look really good the density is also very good although my camera goes blurry so i'm sorry you can't see it so this wig has a silky hair texture and it feels very very soft like i'm so in love with it the one thing i just love about this wig is just how natural it looks like the curls are just absolutely gorgeous as you can see they're just like big bouncy curls and now that i've finger brushed them out a little bit they do look a little bit more natural when you first pull them out they are going to be just like very very spiraled but once you finger brush it out they look perfect i haven't had any shedding with this unit and tangling yes it tangles but i'm not going to be running my hands through it any more than what i have done already just because like i said it is curly what i am probably going to do is cut the comb out in the back because i always find with curly hair like it always gets caught up in that comb and that just adds to the tangle in the nape area so i'll probably definitely just get rid of that so yeah i'm completely in love with this wig and i know it's something different i'm always rocking the blonde but I do like to go back to dark every now and again but anyway if you want to see how I got today's makeup look then definitely keep on watching so this tutorial is all about the eyes so I've already done my brows for the most part I'm just cleaning them up with my NYX concealer in the shade CW06 glow I like to use this shade because it's a little bit closer to my skin tone than what you're about to see me put on my eyes so for my eyes, I'm using the exact same brand. This is just CW 3.5, which is a nude beige. So it's much whiter and I like to use this color because it really helps to make the colors pop when I put them on my skin tone. So I'm starting off with the Morphe 35B palette. The only reason I'm using it is because I want that white shade to put in my inner corners. If you have another white shade, then you could use that instead. Then I'm moving on to my Take Me Back to Brazil palette where I'm gonna be using this light blue. So as you can see, I'm just dusting that about three quarters of the way over my eye. I don't really wanna cover up the white in the inner corners too much just yet. And then I'm going in with a slightly deeper shade and a little bit more of a denser brush and I'm just gonna put that on the outer corners and then also into my crease. And then I'm going back in with that light blue shade and I'm just gonna dust that all over my eye and also bring it a little bit closer into the inner corner. For eyeliner, you already know I'm using my NYX Epic Ink Pen. I love this. I'm not doing a wing, I'm merely just drawing a line so that way my lashes look good when I pop them on. I like to add my mascara first before I put my lashes on. And the lashes I'm using today are AliExpress A19, which of course are my favorite. And for my under eye, I'm using the yellow from the QAF palette from ColourPop. I like this yellow better than the one that's in the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, which sometimes looks a bit neon. The brush that I'm using is the Morphe M507 brush. To do the dots under my eye, I'm just gonna use my NYX white eyeliner and you just need a very steady hand to be able to do this and you just need to just make them look a bit even really. For my highlight today, I'm using this Unicorn Glow Palette from Hush. This is definitely one of my favorite highlighter palettes of all time. Highly recommend this one. You can get it on Hush's app. I do like to get a little bit extra with my highlight. This is like a summery glowy look. So I do apply it to my nose, my brow bone, my cupid's bow, and also my cheekbones. And as I apply it, I just kind of like use my fingers to just like dab it in and make it a little bit more blended. For my lips, I'm using the shade Coco today and I am going to just slightly overline them a little bit just to make them look a little bit more kissable and plump. So attractive, yes. 
And then my lipstick today is from Colourpop in the shade Times Square. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's review and makeup tutorial. You guys know I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye guys!